Okay, I got another video. Let's talk about our country for a moment. United States of America. We know what's been going on recently here, what's been happening and so forth. But what come to mind when I think of the United States and just reading Revelations 18. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. I want to read and I want to identify Babylon with the United States of America. So isn't prophecies telling us that maybe Babylon is United States of America? But let's find out and see. And we're going to go to 18 out of Revelations. After I saw this, another angel coming down from heavens, he had great authority. And the earth was illuminated, watch this, by its splendor, which that means visible. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a home for demons. She meaning as in it, as in a metaphor that is used in place of something, as the Bible always used an example of something to reference to something else. So let's just say she as in United States of America, right? And a hunt for every evil spirit and hunt for every unclean detestable bird for all the nations have drunk the mating wine of her adultery. Watch this. Meaning that the influence of the United States has captivated the whole nations that everybody is following behind what she is doing. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, meaning rulers of the earth of different countries, different places, whatnot. They are now constructing how they do things in their state, country, city, whatever your kings reside at, those that are in leadership, they are now looking at what the United States is doing and now they want to imitate. So now... They are coming into the adultery of what she is doing. They're following behind the sinful natures of what their agenda is. And the merchants of the earth grow rich from her excessive luxuries. We all know that this, this country is built on money, on bad soil, very greed, crookedness. You know, they, it's all about power. It's all about the mighty dollar. And this is what it's about with other countries. See, they go into other countries. That's why they have trade deals and so forth, because the because this country wants something that they may have. So they they put throw money in their face and they say, oh, we give you billions, billions and billions of dollars if we can have this from you. That's what the trade things happen between these different countries because, see, we may be on, on land where something produces that they can't produce but something that they need. So they do trade deals. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, come out of her, my people, so that you will not share her sins. Come out, my people, meaning that we cannot look to what they are doing because the sinful natures of things that they are doing. That's why they okay with LGBT. That's why it's so much killings today. That's why it's so much hatred today. That's why police kill innocent boys from black to white to Hispanic. That's why the uh, the justice system is crooked. That's why our government system is crooked. That's why we have a homeless problem. That's why our veterans are homeless with one leg, one arm shot off, some wheelchairs, can't get the help that they fought for this country. That's why our presidents are no good. It doesn't matter who we get in president. They're not for the people, as we can see that. Because no matter who's in the president's seat, we're still going to face the same issue because nothing has changed. It's changed if we get free health care. It's free health care. It changed if homeless people can get some help. It changed if the people, watch this, are satisfied with the job that they're doing. It has changed when it's not divided. It has changed. When they're putting God in the mix. It has changed when Bibles are back in school. It has changed when they don't unravel what the Bible tells us not to do, but they uh, in place it 
with their other indoctrination of hate and their other agendas behind something that they're, what they're trying to do because the, the love of money is the root of all evil. Hallelujah. Watch this. So that you will not receive any of her plagues. And that's why we can't get out of this virus situation with COVID. That's why more strains happen now. God can do what he want to do. But how... When the nation is so wicked, how can he heal the land? It's not even majority of everybody that's living in the United States of America they ain't putting their hands together and pray. I, I guarantee you, if if in some of us Christians are slipping, we can pray this thing away, but it's not enough hands that is doing that. Because a lot of people want to have fun on social media and and and. and disobey and they feel like oh it's a joke Jesus coming he's supposed to be in here and it's just everything is just so just nonchalant about like I just don't care oh I got time but we don't really see what's happening that's why we have so many false teachers here that's why the church is attacked more than anything else that's why things being stripped away from us because people are blinded to what's really happening because they don't want to see because why they so wrapped up into what the world is doing they want to be a part of it because it's fun and exciting and it's, just a, it's a thrill ride for them and they feel that they got time and some just want to mix and mingle the world with Christianity and think it's okay if they're doing their service but it's a disservice because it's a disgrace to Christ because you're not uplifting something that he's not for. Hallelujah. That her plagues, watch this, for her sins are piled up to heaven. Watch this. And God has remembered her crimes. He remembered everything that goes on. He remembered everything that happened. He does not forget. How can he when it's continued to keep happening? Give back to her as she has given. Pay her back double for what she has done. Mix her double portion from her own cup. Watch this. Give her as much torture and grief. That's why so much, so much chaotic is happening right now, right? As the glory of her luxury, she gives herself. She gives credit to herself. It's not about in God we trust. It's about in their own hands that they trust. Their own circle, their own little power, their own little white house. And everybody excluded from it. In her heart, she boasts. Ah, she boasts. How does she boast? Look at us. We are mighty. We can do all things. We can do, we can do what we want. But see... Her time is running out. Watch this. I sit as a queen. Like she just sit not she's like United States just sit like they just all oh, that. Like, look at me. I'm just, you can't touch me. We can never fall. Watch this. I'm not a widow, meaning that, you know, a, a, a widow as in, a widow is a, is a woman who has lost her husband and she becomes a widow, meaning that she has an apartment now, she is by herself, but see, she feels like she has it all because they don't need Christ. Basically, that's what it's saying. I don't have to involve Christ because we have it all together alone we will stand. Watch this. And I will never mourn, and then therefore one day and her plagues will overtake her. It seems like that's, that's happening now. Death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed by fire for them. For mighty is the Lord God who judges her. Now, I'm going to go back up there for a second. Death, mourning. See, we have so many deaths right now. So many uh, uh, killings that's happening right now. And famine that is happening all throughout this place. And she will be consumed by the fire. Meaning she will be consumed by God's wrath. And, and, and soon, that's why we have these fires. And that's why so many things are happening. Because it's being consumed. Watch this. By, watch this. By the Lord who judges her. Now, I'm going to go down a little bit more. Watch this. When the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared her luxury see smoke of her burning, meaning the California fires, and everything that's going to burn with it, they will weep and mourn over her, terrified at her torment. They will stand off. And cry, meaning that, well, I can't believe that can happen to them. I never, I never experienced that United States of America, these things can go on there. And so they looking, outside looking in like, whoa, you know what I mean? Hopefully this don't happen to us. But yeah, it's going to happen. Because you're following what, what she is doing. She as in United States of America, as in Babylon, same issue, same situation, same thing. It's going to repeat itself. Nothing new is done under the sun. Whoa, whoa, oh great city. 
O Babylon. I'm going to read that again. Whoa, whoa, oh great city, oh United States of America. City of power. In one hour, your doom has come. Time is running out. And as Christians, time is running out for us. Time is short. We have to really start understanding what is happening, what is going on. Look around. You read the word of God, it pretty much tells you. It will show you. Those that have eyes, let them see. Those that have ears, let them hear. But if you become blinded to the fact of what's going on, you won't even understand. It'll go right over you. And then when these things start to happen, you'll just think, oh, well, you know, that's a coincidence. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Oh, you know, uh, I didn't ever know that can happen. Oh, you're shocked. You should be already warned. And so when you see these things, you should be like, well, these are these are prophecies, you know, let me continue to go and pray harder and ask for the land's blood to be covered over my home. So this disaster and everything that's happening gonna miss me and mine. But you wanna but you wanna indulge in the things that she's indulging in. And that's why we're all screwed up with everything right now. That's why we have a president that we have right now, because he's asleep. The Bible says, be be woke, don't be asleep. He was asleep on the job. He was, he was asleep before he even got the job. And so many others with him. But then you got so many others that is, that is fueled by evilness. Because they don't care. It's all about money, power, and, and they respect because they don't respect the people. And it's going to come crashing down real soon. And I'm going to tell you what's going to really hurt the United States of America. When that big earthquake comes. That's what's really going. It's going to tear us apart. Many going, many going to die. So much money is going to have to uh, go into the damage caused. That's going to put us in a really um, a deficit. Watch this. Now we're going to be crying out because we need to help because it's going. It's going to devastate so much. It's going to be like something you can't get yourself out of. They'll be ran, running and scrambling trying to figure out what can they do when they thought they were almighty. That's why they can't control anything that is happening now. It's all out of control because it's only in control of God's hand. But when you give it in control of the devil, this is what happened. So now he's running rapid. And those that seek him and follow him, they're falling suit. His children is falling in line. We're in a spiritual warfare right now, guys. It's time to wake up and stop playing. You can't dance around it any longer. You, you can't think that you have time because time is of the essence. This is a public announcement service. Watch what they're going on around you. Don't wait till something happened in your family. Don't wait till something happened in your city because it's happening now. And the things are becoming close. It is closing in. And if we don't really start paying attention to what's, what's really going on, you'll see it, everything is an introduction to something else that's to come, one and come before destruction. You think this, uh, uh, these vaccines are something. Wait till you really got to start taking this mark. Wait till they really start persecuting the Christians. Wait till famine really hit. Meaning tribulations. You wait and see when it, when it really hits the fan. It's going to blow. And they ain't going to just blow good air. It's going to, you know, that, that dust that build up on them fans when you don't clean them. And you turn the fan on, you, it's blowing, but you're really not getting the coldness from it. And then, you know, you're getting a little of that dust from it because you ain't cleaned it. Yeah, when it hit the fan. It ain't going to be all peaches and cream when you want to get on here and post a, 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 a hee hee ha ha laugh, look at me, a TikTok video, go on Instagram, post something, go on YouTube, say hi, go on Facebook and search for your friends and then get on Twitter and say something and then get on Snapchat, wait for it and go away and then find another uh, social app where you can clown on. It's not a game, but a lot of you think it's a game because you think you got time. And you put your trust and your faith in man. You put your faith in United States authority. United States of America. The most crookedest place on the head of real terrorists. You 
We on bad soil here. We been ever since the very beginning. The money been red. I mean, it's been blood money. Everything been tanked. The lies they teach these children is his story, not the real history. And if we don't wake up, I'm, I'm going to rephrase this. If some of you don't wake up, you're going to be you're going to be left behind figuring out what you can do or uh, uh, why is this happening you're going to have questions when it shouldn't be the questions at the time it should be grabbing what you need to grab and getting yourself up out of there because why when you stay ready you ain't got to get ready if you know you know and this is what I'm trying to show you I'm going to look at that, looking at these pastors because they big time got big watching big church speak real uh, 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 educated and wise and all that stuff. Screw that crap. Somebody really preach you the word of God and really trying to uh, alarm you and ring the bells and ring the alarm and really trying to show you and teach you and, and, and let you see what's going on. You follow those instructions. Don't fall into the other crap of what they're trying to do. Because this is not a time right now to be trying to build anything right now. This is the time to be trying to get people right. This is the time right now that we need to be preaching end time messages. Screw a rap song. Screw anything that is perishable. Now, if you're trying to build something like what I'm trying to do, honestly, and, I, and I've been working on this, I've been trying to, I want to uh, 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 build some hotel, I want to find a hotel, or uh, they got these things at Home Depot, buy a lot and buy these little homes at Home Depot, you can give them like $2,000 and put at least like uh, 30 of them on there for the homeless. See, that's stuff I'm trying to do, and I don't get none out of it by trying to give the homeless something free. I want to do it to really help people because I'm going to build something for the people. But that'll perish too because when we all die, we die, our spirit is left behind. Meaning it go up or it go down. Basically, what I'm saying. Excuse me if I screw that up. But I'm just feeling it right now. I'm being serious. So I just want you guys to know that. I love you guys. God bless you. And hope you take accountability for what I just said.